because Muslims and Christians were not able to live in peace. in this country. We have influence. In Nigeria, we are one. We are one family. I have learned how to stay with my neighbors from different religions and ethnic groups. And I have seen a lot of progress because all the women that we are the member of this organization will show love to each other, love and affection. We didn't differentiate anybody from any religion or any ethnic group. She has taught me how to unite with people whether they are Muslims or Christians, they are, she has taught me how to unite together with them. Usually people see women as uh, uh, being vulnerable or people who don't have uh, the capacity mm. to mediate or negotiate when it comes to peace building. But I tell you, women have what it takes. We achieved success because when we got there, we realized that there are some communities where Christians don't go into because it's Muslim-dominated communities. There are the communities where it's more Christian-dominated areas that Muslims don't go in. We were able to bridge this gap. We identified the key stakeholders or gatekeepers in the communities. We were able to bring to the table community-based organizations, religious leaders, some political uh, uh, leaders too. We should find a way out of how to communicate it is the bane of the whole thing, communication. The women can influence our men to throw the line of peace. The women can influence our children to throw the line of peace. All we need is that self-esteem and that self-confidence. Once we have that, I think we have the capacity.